Yes, it's that one, everybody. It is tea time with the Gypsy Witch. So grab your cups, your tea mugs, and join us for Samhain special. Uh, this is the second in a series. Today, well, I've always wondered, you know, you hear ghosts and spirits, ghosts and spirits, um used interchangeably quite frequently. So I've often wondered, is there a difference? And if so, what is it? So for our Samhain special, we're going to talk about ghosts and spirits and see if there is a difference. Yes, I kind of figured that, guys. <laughs> so, give me a second. Okay, mother of mine. Is <laughs> then Ricky? Oh, and my daughter Tina. Okay, this should be fun. I need to adjust my hat. <laughs> yes. So, what you just heard is true. <clears throat> there can be subtle differences. Hardy har har. I'm sorry. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you guys are making me laugh. And that, that's the truth. It is a matter of perception. There are those who use the terms interchangeably. Now, upstairs in, in the spirit realm in heaven, we don't use these words. So, in essence, there really is... no right or wrong way to use these words. So now many believe a spirit and a ghost are the same thing. Somebody whose physical body has died. And so now they're not only, well, they're not only in spirit, they're a ghost in some people's minds. And really, that's okay. Now, if you want to get technical, right, Mom, technical, there is a difference um, between the two entities. Now, a spirit, as my brother Ricky said, this is my daughter Tina talking. A spirit is someone whose physical body has died in the earthly plane and they have moved on up to the spirit realm, right, to heaven, whatever you want to call it. Right. So, that's a, that would be a spirit. Now, a ghost, on the other hand, is someone whose physical body has died. But they have left an energy imprint in the physical realm. Usually this imprint is someplace uh, where they spent, well, right, quite a bit of time. Could be an energy imprint of where it, located where they died. Now how this happens is there is Right, a great amount of emotion uh, from that being when they're down here in the earthly plane. So, right, while they are here, they are leaving energy imprints. Right, I was just asking her, don't we all do that? Yes, we do. However, when someone has a great, I want to say, attachment to a place or even a thing, Mm -hmm. they will leave, well, a stronger energy imprint than most. This is why some places are considered haunted and some places not. However, yeah, no, you it's freezing. However, no matter where any of us walks, right, whether, really, whether in spirit or in the physical plane, in a body, 
we're leaving energy imprints. When there's a great deal of trauma in death, well, in death, or just, um, right, abuse, even right, great joy can do it. This is what causes these energy imprints. So what happens is there are those, there are people who can actually uh, see the activity of the energy that left that imprint. All right, so I'm asking Tina, does this mean this energy imprint doesn't have consciousness so cannot interact with us? That's correct, Mom. So, what you will see is, well, what I consider a time loop. You're seeing what you believe is an actual, uh, well, entity, uh, the spirit of someone, well, walking back and forth, yet yeah, right, walking through the woods, up and down a staircase. You keep seeing that same thing over and over again. However, this apparition that you're seeing does not have right the capacity to interact with anyone in any realm because that person is not actually there. Okay? It's just an energy imprint and you're actually seeing it. So that is more of what we consider a ghost in the spirit realm. Okay, so uh, this is Michelle. A ghost has no consciousness to interact. Spirits do, obviously, because that's actually who we are. Is that correct, honey? Right, Mom. Okay, so we hear about earthbound spirits. Um, is that a thing? And what category would that fall under? Okay, Mom, we weren't <laughs> expecting that question. It just popped in my head. An earthbound spirit is someone who, well, yeah, is so attached to the physical realm, and there can be many reasons for this, that they don't really go up to heaven once their physical body dies. They choose to stick around here. Okay, so, well, right, they are, in essence, a spirit, because they have consciousness, and they can interact with you. They just choose uh, to stay uh, down here, so to speak. Now, spirits who have crossed over, did you want to put that? Yeah, right, crossed over, <laughs> uh, Right, they come and go across the realms. They travel wherever they want. So, in essence, there isn't really anyone who is stuck in the earthly plane, right? Or or has to go upstairs or to a specific realm. Um, it's a matter of choice. We have free will after the physical body dies, too. So we can choose to hang out in the earthly plane. We can choose to spend all our time upstairs in the spirit realm. Or we can travel, well, all around, right? Like your three children love to travel around. I'm not, yeah, I'm not surprised. John traveled a lot when he was here. My youngest does, I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're nomads. Spiritual nomads. That's a good one, Mom. <laughs> Right. I don't think, in my mother's case, you're going to have such an attachment to any particular place because of the way you, you move around. Right. I'm a nomad. Right. So you, well, adore everything as long as it's nature. <laughs> right. So we don't see you doing that. Oh, no, I'm an explorer, honey. <laughs> right, Mom. So that is, well, technically, in a spiritual sense, from upstairs, oof, what the difference between a spirit and a ghost is. And even what earthbound spirits, 
is there any there, is there anything a problem with them or something? Well, that's what I was just going to say. They're actually they actually have um I want to say indecency. That's what I was hearing you say. It didn't make sense to me. Right. Um, they don't have any, uh, I'm going to say mental problems or spiritual problems that does not cause them uh, to cross over. Angie? <laughs> right, Michelle's my cousin, Angie. <laughs> right. So, what we're saying is these spirits... Right, they may have some unfinished business they want to take care of before they actually do go upstairs and cross over. However, there isn't really anything wrong with them in their mind, I want to say. Right. A mind is, is a spiritual thing, uh, not physical, connected to the brain. So they have no mental illness, so to speak, or a spiritual problem. They're here for a reason, and they'll cross over when they choose. Now, as right as Angie Buhai, that's my percep my perception. Okay, there isn't anything wrong with anyone who chooses that. Some down here may consider them ghosts. When I was down here, if I saw a spirit, actually saw a spirit, or a ghost. I would have called them, across the board, spiritual entities, okay? However, when I got upstairs, I realized there are those uh, that were just uh, spiritual imp right, imprints, energy imprints. They weren't actual beings. And that is now what I consider more of a ghostly apparition. That really uh, doesn't matter what you choose uh, to call these different spiritual phenomena. Right. It was more a matter of curiosity on, on your cousin, your big cousin's part, Michelle. Right. So, that's the answer from upstairs. Hi everyone, this is Gypsy from Gypsy Witch Creations and Psychic Services, and I just want to let you know that Psychic Spirit Readings are now open at gypsywitchcreations.com. So please check me out there and uh, schedule a spirit reading. Connect with your loved ones. Steers. Now, nut ants need to really get uh, technical about it and fight right fight about it. It's not worth it. Right. My big my big cousin has a very curious nature. Right? She asks these questions. No, but it's not worth fighting about people. And it's Ricky again. Hi, Mom. Right. And that's the truth. We're asking these questions, or my mother is, because she is curious. Is there a difference? And if so, what? Right. And it fits in with the theme of the holiday. That's all it is. Right. No big deal if you want to call ghosts, spirits, ghosts, or vice versa. That's fine. Say what you were thinking, Mom. Right. Whenever anybody uh, says the word ghost, before I get in that conversation, I'll ask, well, what is the ghost in your perception? So I know, you know, just so I know what we're talking about. I'm not going to, like, I always kind of assumed that was what a ghost was, but I wasn't. Not an energy imprint, but more of an earthbound spirit. But, and, she, you know, she explained her version on that. Um, but I want to know, when I talk to someone, well, what is your version of ghosts? What is your perception? So I know we're, you know, we're, on, we're talking about the same thing. Right, Mom? So it, it's really not important. Right. They're just words. They're just labels. So, that's only if you really want to get technical, the difference but not really important. Um, right, Mom. I have seen many spiritual things throughout my life. Right. Uh, we're saving that entity for, I think, maybe our next video. Okay. Right. So we're going to do that next. Who? So many have seen that one that I want to know. Um, but for me, you know, on those occasions when I have seen a spirit so solid, I think they're incarnated. 
obviously, you know, well, I didn't know the difference at the time. <laughs> um, you know, that's a spirit. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually seen what you described as a ghost ghost. But for some reason, I can go to a place that's haunted. And even with my psychic mediumship abilities, I might not feel the energy or I don't see what others are seeing. You would think a psychic medium would pick it up right away. Okay, that's true, Mom. Right. Now, if you had gone with Cousin Maria to the Mansfield prison, uh, you may not have picked up the energy she was. It's more has to do with what that psychic medium's um, right grandpa's specialty is. Maria's is more of right the phenomena uh, people experience right in the physical plane in certain places such as hauntings, spirits who prefer to hang around here, things like that. So those psychic mediums are going to be more, uh, their right third eye is going to be more on the lookout for those things. A psychic medium such as you, Mom, is yeah right more interested in what goes on in the spirit realm and how we choose to interact with the people who are in the earthly plane, right, incarnated. So that is why, had you gone to Mansfield Prison, right, you probably wouldn't have picked up anything. And that's right. My brother John is saying, you give my mom an, uh, right, it's EFT they're called? Right. Something like that. Right. I'm going to miss that. Right. Or I'm going to hear it when it's not on the device. Exactly, Mom. You hear it in your HUD. You're sometimes with your ears, you're not hearing it on the device. Seeing things, um, I do see things on what people pick up with cameras sometimes and sometimes not. Exactly. So, it's not an across-the-board thing. Right. My mom is thinking, we all have our certain, right, niches, specialties. So, you put my mom in a haunted house. Right. She'll pick up maybe vibes, as they say. Might not hear anything. Right. Might not hear anything. Might not see anything. Right. Because that would be more of an energy imprint. And you are more... You're right, your niche is, well, actual spirit communication. And right, let's clear that up. My mom panicked there for a minute. There is neither which is more important than the other. It's just, right, a matter of interest, what you were created, what you're geared, created for, geared for. That's all it is, right? So that's why, Mom, you weren't really, you're, I was interested in going, right? You didn't end up going, right? You were sick, but you weren't all that gung ho like her cousin was, like my cousin was in going. So that is, you have people more like Cousin Maria who are interested in the phenomena that actually occurs on a consistent basis in the physical realm. And right, they are fascinating. Right. You are more interested in picking up spiritual knowledge directly from the source, from the horse's mouth. Right. And again, one's not better than the other. Right. I Right. The ghost hunters, if that's what you want to call them. This is Michelle talking. I'm fascinated with that. And I'll look at that stuff. But I'm more fascinated with talking to, right, higher entities. Because they have consciousness. I want the knowledge. And that's all it is. One's not more important than the other. I think they both, both, um... I don't, uh, areas of study, I'm going to say, add to our spiritual growth and knowledge. Right. I can't do everything. You can't do everything. But yeah, it's just fascinating. Right, Mom. So what you do is you ask the spirit realm, us, your family. Oh, I talk to Source God, too. That's right. Other higher beings. Right. You talk to celebrities. Whatever. 
I want, I want knowledge. Right. Um, yet you're fascinated with these hauntings, if that's what you want to call them. Right. But you don't want to get into the technicalities. Right. I'll let other people do that, and then I'll watch. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's, I love it. Right. Exactly. So we all have our niches. So that's the difference. All right. So this psychic medium uh, wants, well, to talk and get knowledge from heaven. Other psychic mediums, uh, these ghost hunters, are they psychic mediums? I'm asking, I'm asking Grandpa. Right, Grandpa. Okay, this is Ken Buhite, Michelle's father. What you just, what my daughter just thought, well, there's got to be a touch in there somewhere. Right. Now, they do uh, get this information uh, from past, right, history is what people have to say. You feel if the interest is there, right, Dad, and you do feel anybody can be a psychic medium if they want, right? You feel they have to have at least a touch of it, right? So that that's a, a good deduction, Michelle. And that's the way your father would answer it. Right. Different types of psychic mediums. Right, Dad? Right. Mom, that's very good. So, right. Those are the differences in, in well, the different spiritual entities. This is, right. We're both talking at the same time. Right, Mom, you're beating me again. And that's all, that's all it is. It doesn't really matter to us in the spirit realm what you call it. I hope, yeah. My mom was just curious. Sometimes my curiosity gets me in trouble. That's true, mom, but what's that saying? <laughs> curiosity killed the cat. Satisfaction right back. That's right. <laughs> my mom has more than nine lives, he's saying. So, I know, well, I'm, I'm sorry. It might not sound spooky and Halloween y. We can go there. Well, you guys are going to have to pick it because I don't. Right. Okay, the shadow. We're going to do this. We're going to talk about the shadow man because I've had an experience with him. Oh, there's that too. <laughs> I forgot about that experience. Right. Right. So we can make it more Halloween y, scary to me. Like I said, Samhain is not about horror to me. Right. It's more of a spiritual holiday. A new year, new season, blessings, the last harvest, giving gratitude. So, right, it's hard for me to do that kind of stuff, but that's what it is. We will go into the more bizarre. You guys pick that one. Okay? So, I'm going to leave you with that. Blessed be, and make it a joyful one.